Hello everybody, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming bringing you another video. Join all the videos and content we produce. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, click on that like button, and don't be afraid to share. Don't forget to click on the notification button, customize it however you want, but that way you're notified whenever we publish another video. Hello everybody, welcome to this week's weekly challenge rift. Let's see what number is 263. And we are a wizard. What do we got? What are we working with? Phil Sears, Magus Opus, Magnum Opus. Alright, so not terribly familiar with this one. So let's see. The two piece is Cassine Arcane Orb, Twister, Explosive Blast, Magic Missile. Shock Pulse, Spectral Blade, or Wave of Force reduces the cooldown in slow time. All right. Four piece, take 60% reduced damage while you have a slow time active. Six piece, enemies affected by slow time and for five seconds after exiting, take 12,500% increased damage from all before mentioned abilities. All right, so it's a slow time, blow stuff up build. We got, we got Squirts, so this is our buff here, so... While not taking damage, this will stack up to 10. Each point of the buff is worth 10% more damage. Uh, and then we take up to 50% more damage as well while that buff is active. But as soon as we take damage, it goes to zero. Blah, blah, blah. So the arm guards here. So when we wreck an object, we get a short burst of speed. Ring of Royal Grandeur. So we only need the five pieces. That works. We're also wearing the Captain Crimson. So two piece for that is... The main thing is reduce cooldown of all skills by 20% and give us resource, reduce the resource cost by 20%. And then the three piece is uh, our CDR, our cooldown, turns into damp percent damage increase. And our resource cost reduction turns into damage reduction. We also have the Nagel Ring. You could tell because you could hear them in the background making all the noise. Or are using the wizard spike for a weapon, so performing an attack has a 25% chance to hurl a frozen orb. Then arcane orb deals 332% more damage. Kind of, well, I guess this middle of the pack max would have been 350. Then for our source in the offhand, we are using the triumvirate. Oh my god, yeah. Anyways, not even going to try to repronounce that again. So our signature spells increase the damage of our arcane ore by 308% for 6 seconds, stacking up to 3 times. In our cube, we have the unstable scepter, so arcane orb damage is increased by 450, and it explodes another time. We got the Ashnagar's Blood Bracer, increases our shields 100%, and then Moonlight Ward for our neck. Any an enemy within 15 yards has a chance to ward us with shards of arcane energy, that explode when enemies get close and dealing 320% weapon damage. Our skills, so we got Spectral Blade, Arcane Orb. Um, so we have Barrier Blades on the Spectral Blade, Arcane Orbit on the Orb. So we're going to have four orbs that explode, teleport with Arcane, so that's going to give us some movement. Soul Time, Magic Weapon, and then we got some armor. Our Passos, so we got galvanizing ward so as long as we haven't taken for five seconds we get a shield for 60 percent audacity we're going to deal 30 percent more damage to enemies within 15 arcane dynamo our signature spell we gain a flash of insight after five flashes our next non-signature spell deals 60 percent more damage and then we got evocation to reduce all cooldowns by 20 percent with captain crimson that's going to give us more damage just Going back, so we have for our legendary gem, Bane of the Powerful, so it's only rank 8. So we're just going to get that 20% increased damage for 30 seconds after killing an elite. And then we have Bane of the Trapped, which is only rank 8, so we're just going to get a slight um, damage buff against enemies that are slowed. Nothing too spectacular there. Let's see here. So we'll want to put our weapon up, then our armor, which apparently did damage there. <laughs> But when we throw out our orbs, so we got four orbs around us. There's our spectral blade. We're gonna have to keep our orbs around us. All right, that's pretty much all there is to it. Interesting. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, and there goes our frozen orb from our weapon. A chance to get that to go. And I didn't cast slow time yet. Slow time is this, so it puts a little bubble up. As you can see, things are just going to die in there. All right, this looks fine. I'm going to have a movement. I'm going to keep the orbs around myself. Spectral blade, throw up my slows. Get procs and call a day. All right, let's jump into this. Jumping on in. So again, first thing we're going to do is put on our armor. Throw on the orb in here. So we can kind of just spam the slow time because it'll throw out the orb. So I'm just trying to keep my frozen orb up. As you can see, it's just demolished everything with the whole time. Trying to keep the orb around me guy go up here we actually spam slow time on top of things here as you can tell it's just destroying everything these are down here bit of a cooldown on it Boop. Let's go. We're up here. Doesn't look like it's actually a little bit of a waste of time do, doing that. I should have just jumped up, killed those guys, and then jumped back down. So keep that in mind. Not to waste too much time doing what I did there on that long haul. There we go. That. Get this thing here a little bit. I already know what I'll do if I do this a second time, just to speed things up. We're basically throwing down our slow time, and we get our frozen orb going through there occasionally. I'm and then I'm keeping the arcane orb up around our person. And then I'm spectral blading when those things are on CD. I'm getting more procs. And it's pretty much just one shotting everything. Alright, throw them there. Keep going. Forward. Oh, got a magic guy there. Oh, you can tell it just absolutely destroys everything. Keep the ball up. Jump in here. I just want to dive down here more for you guys and for me. Just to see if there's anything there. Not. If I was to do it for speed, I would just go through that big room and not bother cutting back down. Oh, that was a terrible thing. Guy here to blow up. There. And apparently the Guardian dies that quick. 338. I already know I can shave off at least probably the 40 seconds. Yeah. I think I could shave off the 40 there. So anyways, that's all there is to it. So all I was doing is keeping the orb up. So every few seconds I was recasting that. Throw down the slow time. Proc the orb. Link for movement. And then as filler in between getting my slow time procs. I was just using the Spectral Blade while ensuring that I had my orbs up as well. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, while going through there, basically not taking damage. 
too often, so we'll get that buff for 60% shield and should be able to maintain having squirts up at all times. There's the conduit there and then the shield at the end. I would probably just on the second map there, I think it was the second map, I already forget, but where I kind of went on a tangent there, jump, exploring that one area, I just would have jumped up, killed the one elite there, and then jump back down and then proceed onwards onto that last map because there's a the cemetery there in the last map would give you all you needed and you'd have the shield so you'd have squirts up 100%. But it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, easy week this week, pretty one shot. Keep our orbs up, throw up the slow time, blank for movement, you know, spectral blade is filler. We're going to get those orbs rocks and it's just going to absolutely wreck everything. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. As always, we appreciate it. like, share, and subscribe. So please click those buttons. And uh, until next time, I hope you're enjoying Diablo 3.